In this lesson, we will study possibly the biggest item that makes Revit rock. That's called the Project Browser. Revit is a self-contained modeling machine. When you go into your model in the morning, you stay there all day. Revit is CAD, 3D, Drawings, and Windows Explorer all wrapped up in one. The objective of this exercise is to look at what views are and how the Project Browser organizes them. To get started, views are everywhere in Revit. These little guys here are actually representatives of views. They're elevation markers. Let's zoom in on this elevation marker here that seems to be in my wall and take a look. What happens is this. This is a live view of the model. The problem is this little guy is in the way. It'd behoove us to move it. If you select the big square here, you're going to see that a bunch of other views kind of light up. We can turn a view on, or if you uncheck it, you delete that view. Be very careful. In Revit, everything is part of the model. Think about this. If you delete a view, you're deleting an elevation. That elevation could have dimensions on it, drafting lines, notes. And if you delete it, you're deleting it from the project. It's not like you can recover it in Windows Explorer. It's gone. So be very deliberate when you're deleting views. And I'll delete this one. Now, if I hit Escape once, go ahead and select just the little hat. The hat is the actual view. The box is the actual view elevation. What we need to do to move it is we need to pick a window around it. And we're going to pick a box, not a crossing window, but a box. You can tell the difference between the line type composition. I'm going to pick a window around this. I'm going to hover my mouse over the middle of it, hold down my pick button, and just move it out of the wall. Speaking of the quick access toolbar, what I'd like you to do now is come up and click on this little house. If you hover over it, that's the default 3D view. Check out our building. Pretty cool, huh? Go down to the View Control toolbar and let's find another function. It's called Visual Style. Click the Visual Style button and go to Realistic. Revit will then change the view to Realistic. So when we zoom in, bricks look like bricks, concrete looks like concrete. There's that little cap I wanted you to avoid. And there's a masonry belt underneath that. The problem is now, how do I get back to my other view? Well, that's where the project...